In the previous episode, we realized there's a problem with Safari and the import maps JavaScript. Um, this has definitely been working for me in the past and in previous uh, episodes, but for some reason now JavaScript is just failing to load completely in Safari. So even if I go over here and put in console log, hello world, and come back and reload, nothing shows up in the console. So um, we're going to migrate away from import maps and migrate towards ES build, which I think is generally just a more stable solution anyway. So the first thing we're going to do is add the JS bundling rails gem to the gem file. And we can come down here and then bundle install. I'm also just going to close my Rails server here because we'll need to restart that after. And then we can run our JavaScript ES build install. And that's going to generate all the files we need, including package.json and everything like that. And we get a command field with uh, could not resolve controllers. So if we go here, um, I'm just going to pull up the Rapid Ruby code base, which uses ES build as a kind of reference here. So um, we're going to go into app JavaScript application.js and in application. Um, let's just copy all of this. So hotwired turbo rails is the same. Uh, tricks we're not using action text I don't believe we're using and uh, fathom we're not using so it just changes controllers to be a relative uh, require so we'll see if that um, next we need to go into our controllers index and I believe this is where uh, this gets auto generated now so now we run uh, generator we can run this manifest update command I think so if we go in here on that that will now basically rebuild our uh, index of, with all our controllers and require all of those for us and then controllers application I'm not sure if that's still needed is it let's see so application is the same scroll to we're not using And yeah, that all looks pretty similar. Um, I do believe there was one thing in index we were pulling in, so we might need to do a diff on that. App JavaScript controllers index. And let's see what we deleted. So we were loading a eager load controllers. So let's go into our application here, paste that in, and then call this as well. Hit save. Oh, actually, no, it's not that. It's this thing. Register text area auto grow, I think is what I needed. Stimulus text area auto grow. That looks right. And I'll hit save. And then we just need to install whatever packages we need. So if I go to my import map.rb file, this is where I had a bunch of things being pulled in. We'll open package.json. So inside package.json, you can see the only dependency right now is ES build. So we need to install turbo rails. So it'll say yarn add all our turbo rails. Yarn add stimulus. Yarn add stimulus use. 
Arnad Hotkeys JS and this stimulus text area auto grow package. And that should now be all the packages required. So if I now run bin dev again, um, that should run our JavaScript. And as you can see here, it's running ES build assets build that should be working and then if we just go to our head file we can change this back to javascript link tag of application and we'll copy this turbo track reload and hit save and then if we come back and reload our page here um, multiple files with the same output path application.js so if we com come in here and we go app assets builds we've got application that's fine application.css is fine oh okay so it's just in our manifest then so in assets config manifest i think um link tree builds that's fine link tree javascript we can get rid of and style sheets we keep and we'll hit save and um, we might just need to restart our server. And reload. And um, we get no method error. JavaScript link tag. Um, let's just pull up Robert Ruby's code here and go to application.html. And we've got layout portals head. JavaScript include tag. So we'll just copy that whole tag across. Go back into application head and hit save and then reload. And that now works. We also get our hello world working. And let's just make sure, because that seems to be logging out twice. Um, let's see, got hello world there. Is there another controller logging out of the world? I don't think there is. So that for some reason it's loading twice. Um, let's comment that out and see if it's... So there's a JavaScript include tag somewhere anyway. Turbo frame model. Oh, so we just want to get rid of this one. Um, I think that was generated during the install process. Um, we can reload here. Now our hello world is only happening once. And also if we click on our like, you can see that's now working as expected. Um, new reply, all of that is now working as expected. So um, we can probably go in here and go to gem file and search for import maps. And get rid of that. We'll hit save, close the server again and bundle. And then we can do a search for import map. So we've got import map.rb and I believe that is in config initializers. So we'll hit remove config import map, bin import map as well. And then let's run our server again, make sure everything still works. And it does. So that is how we can migrate from import maps to ES build. As you can see, it's quite a straightforward process and is fairly quick and everything is fairly compatible. You don't really need to make many changes to your JavaScript files to do so. So I hope that was helpful.